Good morning. We are in Germany today. This is our first time in Germany. We did have a quick layover in Frankfurt before heading to Italy, but this is our first time really being out and about and we love it so far. We drove an hour last night to Koblenz where we stayed the night, which is also just a cool city. We didn't have a chance to explore because we just have this one day before we have to catch our flight home. Um, it was about a little over an hour drive from Frankfurt and it is where the Rhine River and the Mussel River meet. There are some castles nearby that area as um, closer to Koblenz than even where we are now that are in the Rhine Valley. We drove along the Mosel River and saw the cutest little towns. It was a 30 minute drive to our first stop today, which is Berg Elts or Elts Castle. first arrive you will pay four euros for parking and they will give you a little guidebook. You can then either pay two euros per person for the shuttle or you can walk the footpath. We chose to do the footpath this morning. We're here in October and the leaves are starting to change. It's really beautiful. It says it's a 15 minute walk. We'll let you know more about it. It is a little um, uneven and rocky but not too difficult so far. It may start raining this afternoon, so we may take the shuttle bus back, but we'll just kind of see what the weather's like when we finish. This castle, Berg Elts or Elts Castle, has been in the possession of the same family in its entirety. So it is very authentic and we're excited to see it. It is very Instagrammable. When you just like see this, the pictures and the videos, you'll see it's just gorgeous. The walk up to the castle was 15 minutes and we got to the parking lot at 9.30 and a couple minutes after we reached the castle, it was super crowded. Like a tour group of kids showed up, a tour group of older adults showed up. So lots of people here. It's a Friday in October, so I can only imagine how crazy it is in the summer. As you walk up the hiking trail, the footpath, there's a really pretty view that's definitely worth circling back for. If you took the bus, you just walk up to the castle and go right instead of going straight, and there's a beautiful view there. The castle is open for tours April 1st through November 1st, and tickets are 12 euros for adults, seven euros if you're a student. And as of October 14th, 2022, masks are still required in the castle. We forgot to bring ours up, and so they do have them for sale for 50 cents worth it to just buy a new mask instead of having to either walk all the way back or pay the four euros round trip on the shuttle. The entrance includes um, just self-guided tour of the treasury. Everything is in German, but they give you a pamphlet that has translations. There's not a lot of context for many things. It kind of just says this is this kind of knife or sword or gun, uh, but it's pretty interesting. There's a lot of unique and cool things there. We showed up and the English tour wasn't for another 30 minutes. So we went in toward the treasury and then came back and did the English tour. There's no photographs and I assume that meant videos as well inside the castle so I don't have anything to share from there but it is really cool. I had a really good time. Our tour guide knew so much. It was crazy. People asked him these questions and he would just be like oh that's from you know 1681 and it does this and that and it was very he's it was very impressive and I learned feel like I learned a lot. Also, everything felt very authentic. Like he would say, this is from the 16th century, this is from the 17th century. And there really weren't like a lot of replicas. Everything was pretty much original. There were a few things that were being repaired or restored or that were, um, you know, replicas, but really not much. So that was pretty cool to see that everything is really authentic and original. 
We had lunch here. It was actually pretty good. We got the currywurst and the potato soup. I love the currywurst. Potato soup was okay in my opinion. Nephi liked it though. And now that we have some food and we're feeling ready to go, we are gonna head back to the car and drive to our next stop. started raining on us pretty much right as we started hiking back to the car since we decided to hike and not take the shuttle bus <laughs> and it stopped raining it's kind of still misting we drove 30 minutes from Berg Elts to the town of Kokum and we parked in the city center we're here to see Kokum Castle but the entire town is super cute you have to park in the city center and then walk it is <laughs> <laughs> Pretty uphill. I'm a little bit out of breath. After parking in the city center, we walk to the bridge because there are just beautiful views of the castle perched above the river and the cute little houses. So that is a must-see view in my opinion. <laughs> and then to get to the castle, you just have to walk through the old town, which is beautiful and you would want to see it anyway. The rain has really, really stopped, which is good. It was misting for a little bit and it made everything kind of hard to see from the views. We made it to the top of the castle, well, the top of the hill where the castle is, and there are beautiful views of the valley below and the little town and the river. So definitely worth it, even if you're not gonna go inside the castle, to come out and check out the views. They also have a restaurant where you can eat. We got some apple strudel and ice cream and it was really good. Like. Apple Street was great. So would recommend um, eating at the restaurant. We did that while we waited for the next English tour. Tickets are seven euros for adults, 350 for children and six euros for like adult students. The guided tour takes about 35 or 40 minutes and it's really fun. The uh, guides wear kind of like medieval outfits, which is fun. And they're very informative as well. There's definitely some differences from this castle and the other castle that we saw earlier. This castle was destroyed in 1650-ish by the French and then was rebuilt 200 years later. So it's definitely newer. The castle that we burg out that we saw earlier was original, had never been destroyed. They do let you take pictures and videos in the castle. So I was able to share a little bit of the interior with you, which is fun. This castle is definitely unique too compared to the other one. So I think they're both worth a visit. I was trying to like pick one. They'd be like, oh, if you have to go in one, you have to do this one. I think it'd be Burgelts. If you go in one, go in that one, even though they're, in my opinion, they're both worth it. Doing both of these as a day trip, definitely you're gonna have a jam pack full schedule. We have one more activity that we're trying to do before we head back to Frankfurt. And our last activity of the day is a boat tour. So for 11 euros, you can take a boat down the Muzzle River and it is really fun activity. We like it because you just have to sit there and enjoy the surroundings. There's no walking or driving or any kind of work involved. So it's a really nice relaxing way to end the day. They have um, various times leaving from Mazel from 
various locations. We saw two different locations, even though I think they're owned by the same company anyway. So I'll include um, links to some of the companies so you can look up the times for the departures. And it's about an hour tour. They have food and drinks on board that you can purchase. They do also have like information if that makes sense, like somebody's like announcing information or they have a recorded voice that's telling you information about what you're going by, but it's in German. So we don't know what they're saying. They don't have an English translation. And that is the end of our day trip out here. We did stay the night in Koblenz. So if you were coming from Frankfurt, you would have a little bit more driving than we did. It is about an hour and 45 minute drive back to Frankfurt from Kokum. And so we're gonna try and leave here around six-ish so that we can have plenty of time to get back and return our rental car before we stay the night and fly home tomorrow. Coming in the fall was super fun. The leaves are starting to change. We're here mid-October, about October 14th. And so the leaves are starting to change on the trees and it's really beautiful. We did have a little bit of rain. So with the fall and the winter, you know, weather just starts to become more of an issue, but really it didn't rain too much. And so we were still able to see and do everything that we wanted to do. October is also way less crowded. like we have the entire half of this boat to ourselves. And so we're really able to spread out. Uh, Berg Elts was pretty crowded though, even um, first thing in the morning is very popular. The second castle that we visited was not as uh, popular, Kokum Castle. Our tour group really had like less than eight people. We were an English speaking tour, the German tours were bigger, but it's been really nice to have less crowds and be able to explore on our own here. Highly recommend coming out and seeing some of the Mosul Valley as part of your trip to Germany. If you have any questions for us, let me know in the comments and we will see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.